Hey guys, I had finished making this video you're about to watch and today I'm just coming back from work then I remember that after making the video of 10 skills you need to have before relocating I forgot a major skill I don't know if it's because I went to work I came back and I realized I had omitted a major skill, which is the skill of driving. Guys, I cannot overemphasize it enough. Learn how to drive before relocating. Learn how to drive before relocating. You will not understand the importance of learning how to drive until you are here and you get a job that desires someone that can drive and they are even willing to give you a car but you cannot drive now when i talk about driving i don't mean automatic i mean manual yes because when i was in nigeria i used to think who learns how to drive manual cars in this day and age like am i trying to drive a truck no so for me it was automatic because luxurious cars <laughs> but in the uk it's a different ball game people use more of manual cars than automatic in fact automatic cars are way more expensive than a manual car and the truth is learning how to drive or being a driver would give you an edge in every job application i know this for a fact I'm not saying if you cannot drive, you will not get jobs. But I'm saying if you can drive, your chances of getting a job would increase because a lot of employers are looking for drivers. So if you can drive and you now have a car, that makes the job easier. But in case you don't have a car, don't bother yourself about that. Just get that relevant skill of driving. Apart from the leverage it gives you in your place of work, do you know that you can use that skill to even have another source of income? You can be delivering food for food vendors or even doing logistics for other business owners. You can also run your own private taxi service. There are so many opportunities that you can leverage on if you know how to drive. So please darlings, learn how to drive. So that's the skill I omitted in my main video. Now we are going to start with the main video. My name is Ada and don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up and share. Bye. Today, we are going to be talking about 10 important skills you need to have before you relocate. If you are watching me for the first time, my name is Ada and I'm also known as The Legal Pepe. Do well to hit the subscribe button and the like button so this video would be shown to as many people as possible. Thank you for joining me. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for everything. By the way, my focus is on relocation to the UK, but this applies to different countries. Now, before we go on, let me give you one disclaimer. You do not need to learn all these skills. In my opinion, you need just one, one or two, and you're good to go. Now, also, some of these skills are things you can learn even as you are in your home country before relocating. Some of these skills take longer time to learn, while others take shorter time so apply as you are able to i said i will list 10 skills but i would list more than 10 skills because in each of these skills they have sub skills so the first skill i'm going to start with is hair making of course that's the first skill i will start with because hair making in the uk is a gold mine if you have been following this channel since i relocated you would remember that I vlogged about trying to make my hair and how the lady was a bit condescending. Because there are more people that want to make hair and fewer people that can make hair, those that can make hair, a lot of them, not all, a lot of them have this natural shakara. <laughs> In my experience, it went from shakara and progressed into 
condescension and that was the reason why i started learning how to make my own hair myself i will drop the link to the videos where i started these processes because it was here i learned how to make crochet like i could not do it before i'm not saying you should learn how to make your hair yourself that's not what i'm saying i'm just trying to make you see that for me learning something as basic as crochet has saved me a lot of pounds and that will be the same for you now there are various branches of hair making and i don't think you should learn everything especially if you are not a hairstylist you can focus on just one part and master it yours can be making of crochet yours can be braiding yours can even be as basic as making cornrows that's our typical all back because if you have um, kids you realize that you'll be saving a lot of money by learning how to make these hairstyles then if you can braid and braid well ha! <laughs> you are going to be making a lot of money in the spirit of hair making there are also other branches like dyeing of hair because in nigeria you can just dye your hair it's no big deal but here you can't just go to any saloon <laughs> and dye your hair there are lots of processes i think you would need like a license or something like that now imagine if you can actually dye hair also if you can lock dreads that's another money making venture then to crown it all for my men ha, if you know how to cut hair whether you are a man or you're a woman you can cut hair you would actually make money because something as basic as properly carving the scalp a lot of people do not know how to do it here imagine if you have this skill you are going to be making so much money i've dwelt a lot on hair let's move to the next skill now the second skill is sewing hmm. thankfully that is a skill i have <laughs> and i can't express how it has helped me financially sewing also has various branches when i came here i came with my sewing machine <laughs> and i had in mind to be sewing like serious styles for people but guess what since i came here i have made just one ankara style for someone guess what i have been doing amendments now they call it alterations here and it is a gold mine you would think it is basic like just to amend clothes where i'm from they'll call people like that obi oma <laughs> but I have been doing that here and I'm still doing that. It has actually helped me get spare money. The third skill I think you should have is cooking. Some of you already know how to cook. So it's not even a skill you would need to learn. Guess what? There are lots of people that want to taste African meals. A lot. Especially if you are in a school like mine where we don't really have african restaurants guess what if you are cooking soups stew or some other african dishes and you're packaging it you would have customers like i kid you not you would have customers especially if you can actually cook well i remember my last trip to london the main thing i wanted to do was to eat <laughs> an african delicacy because i had been craving amala and that was the first thing i did i know there are lots of rules and laws regarding owning a business in the uk especially for students but i also know that in your small groups be it your whatsapp groups your telegram groups you can actually cook these things in small quantities and sell or even in large quantities depending on your capacity so that's that about cooking also related to cooking is baking some of you can bake something as basic as puff puff <laughs> some people crave things like that something like akara things like cake small chop like for me i would part with my money if i can find nice chops like small chops the last time i got one here in an asian restaurant it was not what i was used to so i did not enjoy it if someone is doing something like that you would have customers or clients so that's something you should look into the first skill you should look at is makeup ha. 
that's definitely a given women love to look good especially when they are going for occasions imagine if you were a makeup artist you're going to be cashing out um when it comes to hair i forgot to mention wig making because that's another gold mine making wigs even selling wigs or selling human hairs because one thing i notice is in the uk i've not seen blend for my lovely ladies you know what i'm talking about blends are a mixture of human hair and synthetic so they're just like in, in between when i tried buying hair here i noticed it was either synthetic or human hair and the synthetic hmm, they are very synthetic like spongy ha ah. but if you sell like nice hairs maybe blends or human hair that are affordable and you can wig them that's going to generate another source of income for you i'm not going to talk about hair again because i think i've talked too much about hair let's move over to the fifth so the fifth skill apart from makeup which was the fourth is gele tying or tying of head wraps this is going to generate income especially in places around london or places where there are a lot of events and occasions even in smaller places for people who go for African weddings, they definitely would need the services of someone that can tie headgears. So if you can't, that's a good one. And if you can't, it's not too late to learn. The sixth skill I'll be looking at is photography or videography. There are lots of occasions, events, church services where they need a photographer or a videographer. If you have such skills, it is going to come in handy. You may think because we are now in the era of iPhones and all of these nice phones with good camera quality, you think you don't need a photographer. You actually need a photographer. My birthday is coming soon and guess what? I am looking for a photographer because I want someone to professionally capture my memories. I am not the only one in that shoot. There are lots of people just like me who want to do a photo shoot of some sort and being a photographer or a videographer would come in handy the seventh skill is graphic designing my god that's a gold mine of course if you're a graphic designer you would know that this skill extends beyond a location you can even be in nigeria and have that skill and be making money so being in the uk is also a great advantage as a graphic designer the eighth skill i'm talking about is editing proofreading, writing. All of these skills are extremely important, be it you being in the UK or anywhere else in the world, because these are skills you can actually earn money with even whilst being online. You can see that I've moved from talking about skills that are limited to a location to skills that wherever you are, you can make money from. There are lots of um, online sites like Upwork, Fiverr, where you can put in your services and get lots of clients do well to check these out as if you are gifted in these areas it's only wise you are earning from them now the ninth skill i'll be talking about is content creation or social media management right now i'm talking to you guess what i am creating a content <laughs> now there are various ways of creating content it can be you being on TikTok, it can be you being on Instagram, it can be you being on Twitter, Facebook, even WhatsApp business. Now, find your niche, find what you're good at, and make the most of it. You cannot be sitting at home and saying there is no money when you actually have lots of services within you and you are the one just limiting yourself. If you are someone that likes being online, why not research how to become a social media manager? learn about it if you need to pay someone to teach you pay and learn you would have lots of value that you can now monetize especially if you are blessed with the gift of the gab you know you can talk well use it well you know you can write well use it well you know you can make people laugh just find a way to monetize it whether you are relocating or you are in your home country now the tenth and final skill i was talking about is teaching Hmm. Ah, this is a gold mine that people do not grab enough. 
you think what you know is basic but you'll be surprised that a lot of people do not know what you know for instance if you're in the uk and you know how to speak your native language fluently and you are a good teacher so let's say you are Igbo and you are fluent in the language or you're Yoruba or you are from Calabar and you are fluent in the language guess what there are some people here Africans or even Nigerians who have children and those children cannot speak their native language there are people who want their children to speak their native language but cannot teach them or they don't even know how to speak do you know that if you can monetize your service as a language tutor you would have people that can't pay you for that service that is a business idea for somebody and you don't even have to have physical classes you can package yourself well to have online classes where you teach language. There are various other things you can teach. Various things. Just look within you. I can't start telling you everything because I don't even know everything. But I know that once you really look within you, you can't say you don't have a talent. Amongst all the things I've mentioned, you cannot say you have nothing to give to the society. You can't say... There are millions of other skills I cannot mention or have not mentioned. There is plumbing, that's a gold mine. Phone repairing, that's a gold mine. Computer repairing, that's a gold mine. There are lots of skills that you underrate because it is within you. But guess what? Someone out there would have less than those skills and they would monetize it. Why not look within you today and if you have any of those skills, brush off on it. If you need to learn, learn. If you need to sit on YouTube to learn more, do that. If you need to pay somebody, do that. But one thing you should not do is just staying idle. Especially for those of you who will be coming in newly to the UK. You need to have an extra source of income pending when you get a stable job. And for some people, they've been able to hone their skills so well that they don't even need another source of income to each his own i hope you have been able to learn from this video because even as i'm talking i have been able to learn from myself <laughs> do well to hit the like button the subscribe button if you have not done so already and let me know your thoughts about this video your thoughts about these skills in the comment section i am going to be seeing you very soon but until then remain blessed Stay happy. Don't let anyone or anything steal your joy because you deserve the very best. Bye, guys.